Hello, and welcome to Drexel Engineering's virtual tour. Our first stop today is Main Building. Main Building is one of the first buildings here built at Drexel in 1891. It is one of the central spaces here on campus where engineering students take a number of classes and lots. This is the main lab space for students in the Civil, Architectural, and Environmental Engineering Department. Within this space, students are able to understand the mechanics of construction materials and soils in order to see how they'd act in a real-life environment. In this lab, you can mix concrete, test asphalt, snap wood in half. It's really not a lab where you want to wear your nicest pants. This here is the Innovation Studio. It is a multi-purpose space for all first-year engineering students to take their three-term engineering design classes. It is fully equipped with 3D printers, tensile testing, it has a wet lab, soldering stations, and an electrical station, and a lot more. The Innovation Studio is also home to Formula SAE, our electric race car design team. During the pandemic, students adopted the Innovation Studio to produce face shields for essential personnel using the 3D printers. Within our Innovation Studio is our machine shop. Our machine shop is fully staffed with different machinists who are able to train all engineering students with the different equipment that we have. We have the woodworking station, we have a welding station, and a lot more machines to work with. Before we start any project, the number one thing that we learn about is safety. Every first year student takes a safety course before entering a lab, and that training is renewed once a year. Lab managers are present whenever space is open to students. Professors, managers, and machinists will train you on equipment and work with you until you're confident to use it on your own. Drexel's College of Engineering has a variety of student organizations you can get involved in outside of class. These can be identity-based organizations like the Society of Women Engineers or more hands-on clubs like the Steel Bridge Team or Drexel's Concrete Canoe Team, which believe it or not makes seafaring vessels all out of concrete. Our next stop is the Fishbowl which houses several robotics labs. One of our research groups here study how biological systems can inspire robotic design. Using biomimicry, the researchers study the swimming patterns of actual marine life to make aquatic machines. The fishbowl also features a special room where students study elements of air quality control. During the pandemic, the lab installed cameras which are now used for students to collaborate with other countries for research. And for our last stop, we're at the Materials for Electronic Smart Systems Laboratory, otherwise known as the MESS Lab. Uh, this is a really big collaboration space for our mechanical engineering, ECE, CAEE departments, as well as the Center for Functional Fabrics. There's a lot of different projects going on in here, and they produce things such as robotics, um, as well as apps for indexing live music performances and animatronics. Behind me is a magnetic resonator piano as seen in the movie Christopher Robin, which plays different songs based on different sensations. The MESS Lab also collaborates with the sociology department to come up with products that are used in the real world. For example, we have this ankle monitor here. This can be used to detect early signs of um, deep vein thrombosis and also monitor the disease. Thank you for coming on our virtual tour of the College of Engineering. If you have any questions or want any more information, please feel free to visit our website at any time. I hope to see you on campus soon.